Chavez. Chavez and Uribe they fought a lot. They discussed a lot. They had a lot of differences. Therefore, we were we were only trying to solve those problems with the United States with Venezuela. What I want to say in reality is that Chavez took power, took power, uh, took power and uh, built a narrative against. There was built a narrative in which uh, he was a demon. And this narrative was created in the in the essence, and it was a demon. So everyone was against him, and it happened like that, and it happened like, and it happened like that as well to me. And it is built, and it has been built during the process. And we see in the television that they talked against me and read in the radio and television. There were uh, the headlines in the magazines, and they were selling a narrative. I'm a lie. Therefore, what I'm saying about Maduro is that this narrative in the world that is said in Venezuela doesn't have any democracy and that he was mistaken, I said that he was obliged to construct, to build a, his own narrative, explaining the, the real facts. And this is what I should not say because the, it's a, conversa a private conversation, but I told Maduro that in order to prove what is being told you need to do you need to do a document in which uh, all the opposition parties all the opposition party will sign all the movements of the labor movement the parliament and the 23 rulers they have to sign everyone should sign and in order to to ask for res respect for the sovereignty of Venezuela because the world shows a precedent and it was a president that existed. Venezuela is suffering a blockade, a blockade of, of uh, a blockade that is inhumane, and it should not it should not happen. Therefore, I believe I believe that Venezuela deserves to be respected, and only demanding respect and working together, we can consolidate a process of democracy in Venezuela. Look at the television in Venezuela. I believe that should you should prepare. You should prepare to accompany this because because they they do not believe in the uh, in the uh, in the electoral campaign. They do not believe in the result in the electoral results, and that they try to they try to make a, a coup d'état the uh, January eighth. 